What's up, Kev? What do you need? Horny Mike, come over here. Danny got really pissed when he found Mike's junk all over his golf cart. He loves that thing. I got a surprise plan that's gonna make Danny very happy, and at the same time, it's gonna teach our resident slob a new lesson. What do you see here? <sighs> a broken down golf cart. This is pretty dirty and disgusting. You're right, Kev, the thing is dirty. And guess what was all over it? My pillows that are now on the ground? Mike. They're pillows. It's Danny's golf cart. It hasn't moved in months. Do you know why? Well, it's not because of the pillows. It's just not funny. It's not funny to me. It's not funny to Danny. I didn't break it. I don't know what's wrong with it. I just know it's been sitting here for a long time. So I didn't figure my pillows would bother it. This well, is just what? sitting here. Well, guess what? I am putting you in charge of getting this golf cart back together. You know, this is ridiculous. Danny and Kevin didn't even know where the golf cart was. At least I'm using it for something. I don't know anything about the golf cart, son. I guess I'm a painter. You're gonna learn. Does it still run? I don't even know. I don't know. Do we even know where the keys are? The keys are right there. They're in it. Here, oh, here. go around the other side. <laughs> All right, hold on. Yeah, we got nothing. I understand that Kevin is trying to be the boss and teach me a lesson. Putting me in charge of one of Danny's favorite rides? This is not gonna end well for anyone. Now I just got a bunch of work over some pillows. Mike, you're in charge of this project and I know you'll do a great job, thank you. Geez, thanks, Kev. This is gonna suck. Ryan. What? I have a question for you, straight from the boss. So I don't wanna hear any crap about it. What? Kevin wants to know why you haven't started the golf cart. Danny's golf cart. What golf cart? Danny only has one golf cart. Danny golf cart. There you go, that's the one. Since when, I, I, dude, I know nothing about it. I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't Listen, there, I don't know what you're talking this, about. This is coming straight from Kev. I really don't even care either way. Ryan obviously hasn't seen Star Wars. This is gonna be the Jedi horny Mike mind trick. He'll be painting that cart in no time. I'm like Yoda with a mohawk. So Kevin came to you to tell you about Danny's golf cart. Yeah. You're full of So I go to Kevin, he'll tell me exactly what you're telling me. He's gonna tell you the same thing. Danny's golf cart needs to get painted. I believe Kevin told you, go do Danny's golf cart. That's why I was not involved in it. I had nothing to do Kevin with it. Kevin told me. It was not discussed with me. This is all on your shoulders. Anyways, we need some kind of paint scheme. What would you do to Danny's golf cart if you were gonna do it? That thing's a hunk of junk. It needs so much more work. Why, why are we even bothering with the paint job? What would you do? Danny likes flames. She likes scallops, skulls, metal flake, leafing. So you got it handled. It's not You're trying to get me sucked into your job. No, no, I am not. I had nothing to do with it. You do now. I know Kevin told Mike to do this job himself. Obviously, he's just trying to pass the buck on me. But if I let Mike do this job, it's gonna have half-naked demons with horns ripping each other in half, and Danny's just gonna have me redo everything myself anyway. It's just gonna be much easier if I help him out now. Look at that! Is that my golf cart? That's your baby! It. Get out! Oh, dude! <laughs> Brand spanking new old ass golf cart. No thanks to Mike. Yeah. Absolutely no yeah, thanks yeah. to me. She is unbelievably gorgeous. When I first saw my golf cart, man, I didn't even recognize her. My golf cart looks like a badass mini me in my pickup truck. Apparently, Mike was supposed to do it, but well, I gotta tell you, I'm glad he did. Paul did up the interior in a flaming red Zodiac that looks amazing. Ryan put the body shop to work. They straightened her out like new and did some sick modifications as well. They created an awesome grill and used some old bumperettes. And Ryan finished her off with some slick satin black paint job and some red flames to match my truck. This was my uncle's golf cart, and man, do I wish he could see her now. It was just really upsetting to see Mike treated so bad. <laughs> I don't blame it was just me. I mean, she's out. Right, she matches my truck, my 56 Chevy pickup. There's no horns, there's no lime green fur, there's no weird murals, there's no weird stretchy skulls, 
everything makes sense. Satin black is perfect. The flames, just like the truck, and also throwing in the scallops. Because remember when we did the truck, we talked about blending scallops and flames yeah. and how, you know, it was a faux pas. Be the white pinstriping, just like the truck. Pauly. <laughs> <laughs> The Zodiac, man, it's just like the truck. It's absolutely gorgeous, man. You gotta mimic, it's just like the truck. Put a sunken front cushion in there so you sit low and you got a lot of headroom. Bro, the knobs, that was phenomenal. And, and, and you can see the entire body on this thing. It's flared in the rear, man. It, 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 the, the whole body on this thing is completely, completely different. I love it. There's one piece, just one piece that got saved. This little piece right here. That's still original still equipment. Still original. Now it's all steel, Danny, instead of plastic. Yeah, right? it's, that's so. steel. I love it. And the, the dash, the gauges and the switches, that's awesome. Up top, look at the headliner. <laughs> Got a radio. Oh, dude, yes, that man. shop came through again. They took and made that the whole bars up top and the radio holder and came through big time on this one. You guys have got to be kidding me. You know, I'm not a golfer, man, but I gotta tell you, this little golf cart means a lot to me, man. It's great that the guys were able to do something cool with it besides use it for a trash can. Now it's time to take this baby for her first spin. Man, I love it. Dude, oh my gosh, I love it, man. <laughs> and y'all can't drive it no more. <laughs> oh, come on, man. No way, man. You guys are absolutely awesome.